Yang. Christine Chin. Here. Adele Kong. Here. Catherine Fong. Here. Eileen Nugent. Here. Okay, class. Today, we will be learning about the respiratory and circulatory system. Yay! Oh! Boo! Does anybody know what the functions of respiratory and circulatory systems are? Oh, 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 pick me, pick me, please, please. I know it, I know, I know, I know. Anyone? <sighs> Fine, Catherine. Yes, okay, the respiratory system is a system by which oxygen is taken into the body and an exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. In mammals, the system includes the nasal passages, pharynx, trachea, bronchi, and lungs. And the circulatory system is a system of organs and tissues, including the heart, blood, blood vessels, lymph, lymphatic vessels, and lymph glands. It involves in circulating blood and lymph through the body. What? What? Yes. Yes, that, that is correct. Here, I'll take this little explain it. The respiratory system, the respiratory system. It's got a big function, so you don't want to miss them. And over here, we got the circulatory. The circulatory. It is last but not least, so don't feel sorry. All right, let the learning begin. The respiratory system, the respiratory system. R E S P I R T O R Y. R E S P I R T O R Y. How can we breathe? How can we breathe? How can the lungs fill up with air? How can we breathe? How can we breathe? How can the lungs fill up with air? What does the respiratory system, the respiratory system? R E S P I R T O R Y. R E S P I R T O R Y. Okay, we breathe in our mouth <gasps> and we breathe in our nose. That's the very first step you just gotta know. Hey, no breathing. That's pretty cool. You know this is real. Oh, good fool. So next, the air comes to the tube called the pharynx, then to the voice box, which is also named the larynx. Air, air, we got the oxygen and flow. Now let's give it up to the respiratory. Yo! The next is gonna make you hold on tight because of the trachea, also known as the windpipe. Hooray! We're almost halfway! For the rest, can you show us the way? I might be on the Illuminati, but this is no deal. These are the bronchi and the bronchial tubes, which go into the lungs, which you all know, but what's wrong with saying it to and fro? At the ends of the bronchi, you can easily see tiny little air sacs called the. Avioli. Alveoli. See with your teeny bitty eye that alveoli is the number one guy. Okay. Down below near your waist, we got the diaphragm. It don't irritate. And it helps you with singing, and I sing very well. But this isn't about me. Now let's go into the blood cell. Now, children, for homework, you are going to make a wordle about the respiratory and the circulatory system. Yay! Oh. Um, can I use the computer for homework? Fine. There. Wow, it looks so good. Wanna see it? See it? Dad, it's my homework about the respiratory and circulatory system. Dad? Dad? Not now. Can you see your old man is trying to sleep? What? Go tell your sister. Fine. Here, have a look. Have a look. What is this? My wordle. Respiratory. Circulatory. <laughs> Circulation. No, it's circulation. Alveoli. Hey, my friend is ravioli. Can I call it ravioli now? Fairy inks. <gasps> Fairies. Larry inks. Hey, what's Larry? Emphysema. Bronchi. No, it's heart. I thought you already learned that. That's what I said! Medical checkup. Oh, I hate those. As the mama. <laughs> That's
that's what I have, and it's asthma. Bronchitis. Bronchitis, and it's very bad to get. Trachea. Trachea. Blood. Blood, are you kidding me? I got a <laughs> Curculation. Curculation. It's pulmonary. Wait, wait, I know this one. Coronary. No, coronary. Arteries. No arteries. As the rose glarosis. No, it's as the rose glarosis. Be that way. We need something to do. We're bored. Function Unicorn, please save us. Give us something to do. We need to do something to help this body function. Get up, couch potatoes. Do your function. Do I need to remind you what to do? You are supposed to be removing carbon dioxide and taking in oxygen. in the human body. Yes. 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 yes! yes! Okay then, I'll tell you a story. Oh yay! In the human body, for Miss Crane the principal, gave everyone a project to do. It was to maintain the homeostasis <gasps> in the human body. The troublemaker of the school said, Forget about it. But everybody else was excited about the project. Now, the muscular system and the respiratory system got into a group together and they helped the human body breathe. The respiratory system brought oxygen into the lungs and brought carbon dioxide out. I am the lungs. I need oxygen. Uh oh, there's too much carbon dioxide in me. respiratory system's ears, reminding the respiratory system that she had forgotten to regulate the blood gas composition. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. <sighs> Together, they help to maintain the homeostasis in the human body. The circulatory system was assigned the same project. The circulatory system had the job of making the blood flow continuously through the body in a controlled way. In no time at all, the circulatory system heard a starved cell cry out in hunger. So, the capillaries in the blood in the circulatory system transported nutrients to the fluids around the cell and removed waste from the cell. I'm so hungry! Did someone order food? homeostasis by transporting hormones through the body.